All right, guys. Uh, hello, everyone. My name is Ivan. I am technical consul consultant for Venom Foundation. And uh, this is a kickoff introductory session for developers. Uh, our goal uh, is to make the developer experience smoothly. So we will go step by step to, um, uh, to guide you through all the tools and uh, necessary um, necessary knowledge that you need to start developing on Venom blockchain. So uh, the, here are the first um, like resources you, you should check to dive into community and to subscribe uh, on all the, all the all the news that we have. So the first one is Venom Foundation. This is an, an entry point to all Venom ecosystem. Uh, here you have uh, our so socials, so please don't forget to subscribe on that. And uh, uh, you also have uh, some uh, links to uh, developer documentation and user documentation and uh, some fancy products that we have already on our testnet. Right. Uh, also, we have this Venom Network uh, website which is uh, designed specific specifically for uh, testnet. Uh, it has uh, links to, to install the wallet as well and uh, the whole uh, list of products that we uh, have uh, from, from the very launch. So please don't forget to check it out. Uh, I, I'm not going to go through all of that, but I'm going now to go through the basic instructions on installation of uh, your wallet, uh, getting your testnet tokens and setting up your developer environment. So let's start. Uh, the first thing that you should do is to install the Venom wallet. Uh, so I prefer Google Chrome extension format. So you can click here to install. I have it already installed. And once you install it, install the, the extension, uh, you will see the welcome screen. So once, you, uh, once you're here, you just uh, go with uh, creating a new wallet, accepting all the stuff, uh, remembering your uh, seed phrase, I'll just copy it. <laughs> Um, but but yeah, but, but remember that you should write it on paper because like this, this is your main entry point to, to the whole ecosystem. Uh, now you need to uh, create strong enough password, so it will be like this. Um, yeah, and uh, please make sure your password is strong enough because uh, the Venom wallet won't accept the weak password. Uh, so we encourage the, the high level of security of your wallets, guys. Okay, once you install the wallet and uh, create your password, uh, you can see it on the top of your uh, top right of your browser. And uh, so let, let's go through basic functionality that you should know to, to manage your funds. So the first one is the, your wallet address. You can copy it uh, here, just click the button here. Of course, you have uh, zero balance for now, but we will get um, to, to this a bit later on how to get it. And the second one is uh, that you can manage not only assets, but uh, like tokens or native to Venom token, but also NFTs. Uh, you have uh, also receive and send buttons and you can manage uh, and create as much account as possible under a single seed phrase. Here you can uh, switch between networks. Now we are on testnet, of course, because mainnet is not yet launched. And you have uh, some uh, preferences. We'll not dive into here. But what's important is to restore your seed phrase because uh, sometimes uh, you may uh, f forget what uh, what your seed phrase is, seed phrase is, or like me. Uh, like didn't didn't wrote, wrote it up uh, somewhere, so that that's pretty common situation. So, uh, but but if you uh, already logged in the extension, you can easily restore your seed phrase if you know your password. So let's uh, do let's do it. Uh, you need to click uh, this uh, profile button and uh, click the button manage seeds. 
you will see the list of all of your seeds. Uh, for now, we have uh, only one seed that we created on the start and we click here and here we can uh, click the button export seed. Uh, now we need to type in our password here and once we did it, we can uh, see our seed phrase and copy all words again. So that, that's, that's how it's done. Also, you can back up all if you have several seeds uh, imported, you can back up all of them and uh, they will be available as a file, as an encrypted file, uh, which you can then uh, use to restore your wallet back, for example, on another machine. Uh, but of course, you need to remember your password to do that. Right. Uh, let's uh, let's uh, mm, let's proceed with uh, watching uh, what's happening on Explorer. So we have this uh, uh, we have this uh, testnet venomscan.com where you can basically monitor all the transaction and all, everything what's happening on the Venom blockchain. And if we paste our account here. We can go to the, our account page. Of course, we see that, that the balance is zero, uh, no tokens yet. But uh, mm, what I want to show you is that you have really fancy, um, fancy interface which allows you to see all the messages, all the transactions, all the token transactions as well, uh, all token balances, NFT items, of course, and the source code of your contract. So. Uh, any uh, uh, behind any address in the Venom blockchain, there is a contract, and uh, if if this uh, if developer uh, uh, like put put the source code of this contract on the explorer, uh, then everybody can see it, examine it, and even interact with that. Uh, also, like you can explore NFT all NFT collections here. We have some collections deployed on DevNet already, on TestNet already. So, so yeah, so you can easily explore them. I click on the collection and see all the items um, and uh, some some metadata for the for the collection, right? Uh, now, uh, for those who who don't want to uh, wait for the next video, we have uh, very good documentation, so you can go to docs.venom.foundation and uh, by clicking on the build section, you can see the, the all steps you need to, to, to quick start developing on Venom testnet. Uh, but for now, I will do, uh, do the first step of, um, of um, configuring my developer environment. So, now, I have clean environment with nothing installed. I have uh, empty VS code with, with no extensions related to Venom. And uh, let's go step by step to set up our developer environment. So the first thing we should do is to um, npm install globally package called Locklift. So the Locklift is uh, tool uh, pretty much like hardhat in EVM ecosystem which allows you to easily test, write tests for your contracts, write contracts themselves, compile them within within uh, the single environment and also write some provisioning scripts. It provides uh, very convenient API and configuration to switch between networks and uh, manage your like, smart contract system uh, basically uh, within a single tool. So we will use this for contract development in this series. Uh, and once we installed the lock lift, we will go with pretty simple uh, command. So let's create a directory for our project. Uh, let's name it hello venom and cd inside. All right, here we can just go with lock lift in it. Right, let's see what's happened. So now we have a basic uh, directory structure for our project. Uh, it has contracts folder, some config uh, file, uh, some of course node modules already installed and the uh, package JSON, package log JSON files, which uh, we will examine, the, uh, examine a bit later. Also we have scripts and tests folders 
pretty much like you have in hard hat and also some uh, configuration for TypeScript so everything is written in TypeScript which is pretty convenient right go into our editor and see what we have here so I have this Venom folder, Hello Venom. Let's open our folder in VS Code and see um, what's inside. So the first one, so what, what I want to show now is that here you have sample contract, uh, but uh, we uh, have no syntax highlighting yet. But we, we see that, that the, the language is pretty much like Solidity. We will uh, dive into TSOL language a bit later. Uh, it, it's, it's almost like Solidity with some extensions to it, like you can see like TVM accept here and uh, maybe uh, there are no payable functions for example, but, but yeah, we will uh, dive into it uh, in the next uh, videos. Uh, now I want to show you how to get um, this syntax highlighting stuff so that you can code uh, and uh, code much more easily and navigate with your code. So you can type ttsol here and just install this extension. Once we get that, we have our syntax highlighting. So now it's much more convenient to navigate through through for the our code so uh, yeah uh, all right uh, in the next video we will deploy our contract we will uh, look how tests are written for this contract uh, look how deploy script works uh, and uh, overview what we have in configuration file for locklift and of course we will get some testnet tokens to basically to deploy our contract thank you